We're back, people, and today we're breaking down film on Elijah Higgins, Miami Dolphins' newest tight end slash big slot wide receiver type. And I'm a big fan of this type of pick in the sixth round. You go, you know, you're going in this more like development route where he becomes like a hybrid player where he's learning a new position. And I think that's where he projects to at the next level at his best. Like if I, if he was a pure receiver, I wouldn't really like the pick too much. Uh, I just don't see him translating to just as a pure slot or a pure, you know type of wide receiver like that but I think at the next level you is a big slot f tight end and he just becomes a mismatch type of player and he just is such a better fit for the offense than Gasecki was because he's going to play the role Mike Gasecki did as that f tight end but he's a completely different player when it comes to yard after catch ability and as a blocker he's much more willing of as a blocker he needs to work on his consistency at times as blocking but his yards after catch ability is by far his biggest strength you can tell Mike McDaniel has a type because he always goes after these yards after catch type of players. He's very strong at the point of attack. He'll be like 6'3", 235. He's going to be that move tight end. And once I saw the pick, like I hadn't really thought about it too much before the draft, pre-draft. Once I saw the pick, it made total sense with what they've done in the past at the Niners with McDaniel there. All their coaches that they brought over, they've done this. Like their most recent time doing this was Jawan Jennings. He was a receiver coming out of Tennessee. And now he's been more of that big slot F tight end type of player for them. They moved him around, used him all over the place. And he's been a role player. And I think Higgins has that chance to be a role player very quickly because he's a completely different type of player from Smythe and Saubert who are going to be more of your traditional wide tight ends and I think you know he's fighting Ta Tanner Connor for that third role where they're both going to be that sort of hybrid you know they were both wide receivers coming out of college and they're going to be tight ends at the next level and I think Higgins has a pretty solid skill set like he's a better route runner than I expected him to be he's pretty refined he understands what he's doing he's got the timing of it down he gets physical and his route time gets uh strong at the point of attack he can catch the ball in contested situations and then yards after catchability he's got great elusiveness moves better than you would think for a guy of his size like obviously i wouldn't say he's the greatest athlete if you're looking at him as a pure wide receiver but as a tight end he's got enough athleticism to destroy linebackers and he's got that size where he can beat uh smaller nickel dbs so i like that sort of threat that he could bring to the offense because he's a completely different type of player than they have on the team that really you know starts and gets a lot of playing time so it's just another nice fit in this whole offense. Uh, I love taking these types of players later in the rounds. You know, people are kind of mad about the pick, but I'm like, it's a six-round pick, guys. Like, it's uh, usually this is what those types of picks are in the draft class. Now, most of the reps that you're going to see is him playing as, like, the big slot wide receiver, which he will do, you know, replacing Gasecki. That's what Gasecki did a lot. But he will be, you know, lined up as, like, an off-ball at time. He might even get up in the backfield. But um, I think I have, like, one example of him doing that. There wasn't too much of him blocking, at least on the film I saw, but you could tell that he was definitely willing on the outside. Um, just here, getting him the ball quickly out into the flat. These types of plays, design touches where you can get him the ball easily. He becomes a very nice throw after the catch. Like this is a, you know, a pretty poorly thrown ball. Like, he has to catch it away from his thing down below, and he still instantly turns into a, you know, guy after the catch pretty quickly here. And this is nice anticipation from where the defender's going to be. Make him miss, you know, very quickly in a tight space. Stay on his feet, show off the balance, and then carry two guys into the end zone. Like, think about Mike Gusecki on this play. Like, if Mike Gusecki gets this, like, Mike Gusecki is a great receiver, vertical threat. That's the type of offense you want him where you can attack vertically down the field. This is the difference with him. You hit him the ball, you know, three yards down here. You think about all the tight ends they've had. Most of them are getting tackled right there. Obviously, Higgins, much better athlete than what we have at the tight end position. And I just like what that fit could bring the offense. Obviously, he might have to develop, but I do see the path where he could be a role player where, you know, maybe he plays like five to ten snaps every game. Dolphins had, you know, usually their third tight end did play about that many snaps, and he could easily get into that role pretty quickly just based on, you know, the depth that the Dolphins have at the position. Here we got Higgins working down the seam. He loves to attack the seam. He can also work, you know, as like a vertical seam threat. That's how, you know, a lot of bigger tight ends will work in a lot of offenses. So it's something you got to be able to do. Uh, Dolphins love to attack vertically as well if they're not, you know, getting the ball out quickly to try, you know, maximize yards after catch. But just here he is. Versa, you know, a smaller, you know, nickel DB. This is why I like his fit uh, as, you know, a mismatch at the next level because you face a lot of smaller nickels. And this is a nice release. Like his route running is pretty refined, the timing of it. Get off split release. Uh, very rhythmic in his uh, routes right here. Gets the inside very quickly, and then he works through contact. He gets held here, but still is able to work through the contact, get down, find the ball, track it, catch the ball, you know, that's slightly out of in below his frame and makes it look very easy in a third and tenth situation. But I just like his ability. Like, he's pretty refined. He's not the most explosive player, but I like his, like, movement skills uh, to an extent. And I think he, you know, he ran pretty well at the combine, too. I think he can really pick up speed once he really gets going. 
but that nice release there off the line, the route running, get physical through the route sim, you got to be able to do that uh, as, you know, a big slot type of player where you can bully people with physicality, and you'll definitely see that throughout this uh, video when I'm showing those types of plays. Okay, Higgins working the slot, um, slot fade this time, you know, this is stuff that he's still going to do at the next level, even though he's, you know, switching positions, he's still going to play a lot of, like, as a big slot F tight end. Uh, but just really good job like with his footwork here everything is timed to perfection you can tell he has an understanding of how to attack leverage every you know placement of his feet everything uh, has a point to it it all matters he clearly is doing this with a purpose in the inside he's got some fluidity in his hips and then just look what he does to db here and then you know nice little swim over beat the hand so now he's just in a perfect positioning he creates that natural separation and then catches it and then braces for the hit from the safety so he's you know not afraid to take those hits uh and when you're gonna be a big slot that's gonna happen from time to time especially when you're working over the middle of the field here even on the slot fade he's gonna face it so just another nice play where those are the types of plays that definitely translate to the next level and all these a lot of these plays have been like third down fourth downs on his film so he makes a lot of you know clutch plays in those types of situations He's very comfortable running these like out routes with these sharp speed cuts. He wastes no time getting into it. He just runs up, eats up the cushion very quickly, like solid burst, solid speed, eats up the cushion. And then once he's about to, you know, make contact with this DB, it's just sharp. Get out of the break. No wasted movement at all. Nothing really given there. And it's just enough to create that separation. And I think this is something like as a receiver, he does better than Gaseki because Gaseki is very good at attacking vertically or making like 45 degree cuts. But when he had to make like a full vertical speed cut like this, he would be a little more um, like stuck in the mud at time. He's not as comfortable making those types of moves. And I think Higgins can definitely do those types of things a little bit better in the offense. He's more comfortable with it. And, you know, he is going to be a, he, like a tight end, you know, type of player, but he's an X receiver. So he's still, you know, going to be a better athlete than a lot of tight ends, uh, even though he's not the most the best athlete as a receiver. But translating to tight end, it just works better for his skill set. And in this offense, I just think he's a great fit. Also, down in the red zone, Higgins, you can use him as like a jump ball, one-on-one -on -one type of receiver. He can go up and get it. You know, he's that big frame, big body. He can bully some DBs at time. Like, doesn't do anything really in the routes. I mean, he just gets at his positioning, goes up, attacks the ball at his highest point, comes down with it. Uh, it's not something that I would say he's always doing, but he's definitely capable of it. Another example, this time, you know, winning with a fade here. Uh, different type of fade where he kind of just gets over the top creates that separation doesn't you know go over and try to really moss him there's another example of him winning with physicality clearly running his route with a plan his release here you know gives that foot fire gets to the outside gets physical and i mean based on where the db is here like his positioning this is kind of nuanced right here db's in great position great positioning and he gives a subtle push off at the at the end right there it doesn't fully extend so then he's able to create late separation to win over the top just another red zone thread that threat that could be added to this offense uh, that wins in different ways. Because Waddle and Tyreek, like they're guys that are going to separate, make big plays for this offense, big time separators. Obviously, they can make yards of a catch, be physical too. But it's not like their game is creating separation, winning in the route stem with their explosiveness, and then creating big plays after the catch. Higgins is a guy that is going to be a different type of guy that makes big plays after the catch with his physicality, play strength, contact balance. And then also can win in contested situations, which I think this offense needs those types of players, especially because Gaseki was that main one, but he just didn't fit the offense in the other types of ways. Also another guy that adds another screen threat to this offense. I feel like the Dolphins are going to run more types of screens uh, or, you know, manufacture touches to these types of players, you know, jet sweeps. They do it with Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle, and people expect those types of players to get the ball. But I, now I think with Devon A-Chain, Elijah Higgins, even you get these types of players the ball in their hands quickly like they have a good feel for space like i think higgins like moves better than you would expect he's pretty elusive to make at least one guy miss great anticipation here feeling this guy coming and then quickly lateral agility and then instantly get back up field he has great field vision too his eyes are amazing like he sees things really well after the catch i think it's another reason why he's good in those types of areas but just the ability to make one guy miss because his screens are never blocked up perfectly a lineman struggle blocking out in space getting there but he's able to see everything really well get away from this defense lineman to get up field and you know maximize the yardage that he would get because honestly on that play he probably should have gained nothing he should have got tackled pretty much near the line of scrimmage but was already you know snapping his eyes to see where the defenders were coming from uh so good field vision athleticism from higgins there another fourth and five situation <laughs> like he makes a lot of catches on fourth down nothing too crazy in the route stem 
but you can just see the physicality i think after the catch the contact balance to you know he doesn't pick up a ton of yards after the catch but you can see like the vision there um guy's playing super high outside leverage like it's a very easy he just gets into a slant doesn't really do anything special just because the db gives it to him and he catches this and instantly like he's getting hit from the side and is going to get hit straight on and you can tell he squares him up drops the shoulder pads and those hits right there he still stays on his feet the only reason he goes down is because you know now there's three guys and he's getting tripped up over from one blow him but you can see that he's like what he's capable of doing after the catch where you know maybe if he does this in a different situation where maybe this defender is not there to then come help he can gain even more yards after the catch just types of things that can you know happen in different types of situations that contact balance that play strength is there for him to run people over especially dbs so i kind of like that mismatch that he's going to create and there's so many different creative ways to get him the ball that i think mike mcdaniel will have a lot of fun with him and then you just got to be able to develop him as a blocker and he brings a lot more willingness i think to that and play strength and uh then uh Gusecki did another example higgins in the slot working the seam he loves to work the seam he's very comfortable working the seam good route again to create separation honestly the route running surprised me like when i watched a little bit of him pre-draft and i just don't remember the route running as being being like this but you can see he sets this up really nicely everything from the footwork clearly runs this with a plan attacks the outside leverage and then boom give him like a little jump over to the inside crossover type move then it stacks over the top of him gets back on his like uh, landmark because he beats him to the inside but then gets back on his landmark on the hash and then tries to float away from the safety so he clearly has some feel and awareness to beat zone coverage uh and man coverage too but uh just to, like beat the guys that are also playing zone and where they're located so then he can get away from it and just yeah attacking down the seam got to be able to do that as an f tight end it's very very important big slot higgins on a fourth down situation again this time he just destroys the db might get called for pi there eventually but you can just see he doesn't waste any time just gets up eats up the cushion and physicality i mean the guy does you know stay in his space there so they both kind of you know get physical at the point of attack you can see he has that power to create that something different brought to this offense that the dolphins very much value from this position that i don't think gaseki quite brought to the team like gaseki's a good player just did not fit the, the system the scheme at all and then he catches the ball right here you know about at the 49 and you can see the burst carry people for an extra you know all about you know decent amount of yardage there i'm blanking but um <laughs> uh just another nice play from higgins that you can see how he translates to this offense last play that i'm gonna break down this is the only play that i could find i obviously wasn't able to watch every game i will go through the all 22 that i have and i can't post it but just to see what if he has any more reps like this but he's here he is down basically as a tight end here and you get him one-on-one -on -one blocking a db so i mean he, i'm definitely comfortable with him blocking dbs which he will block a lot of dbs um when he's playing as like a big slot move tight end but i think i need to at least see him be more comfortable with linebackers you can see like the vision here he's able to square him up good base but he kind of you know gets overextended here kind of puts himself out of position the db tries to you know get far outside like right here he's overextended but he's still able to use his length his power enough to open up this lane here for the running back db basically he was taking himself out of the play and he did a good job but he starts this off with a good base good hand usage you could tell he's physical and he has the play strength and just you know using your body to shield off sometimes that's all you need to do and he also displaces this guy moves him out of the play ends up on the ground so nice play from higgins at least there is an example about him out there blocking like this isn't a top tier block but it's something you know that is good and is better than what they had beforehand <laughs> so I like the fit in the offense. Obviously, he's a six-arm pick. I'm not expecting, like, I don't have, like, huge expectations right away. But I think, you know, these types of players are important in offense. Like, there's still something to, you know, know about I think these hybrid role players. And I think he will be a role player for this team. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.